But let's take another glimpse of surprises that might be in the Bible. Uh, I always say that everything in there is there deliberately by design. People challenge me, well, what about Numbers 2? Now, what are you going to make of that? Numbers 2. That's all these weird numbers that, that what, may, what might be hidden behind the numbers and details of the camp of Israel here was described. Jesus said, the volume of the book is written of me. You need to discover for yourself that Jesus Christ is on every page of the Bible, not just the New Testament. And so in, in Numbers chapter 2, we have the listings of all the, the 12 tribes of Israel. You have Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun. And then you have uh, Reuben, Simeon, and uh, Gad. And then you have uh, Eph Ephraim, Manasseh, and uh, Benjamin. And finally, of course, you have Dan, Asher, and Naphtali. Now, you realize there are 13 tribes, by the way. Don't get confused. They always speak of 12 tribes, but they cheat. Because if you want all 12, all of them, you want to call it 12, you take jo uh, Joseph and lump it together. If you want to take one out for some reason, Dan for one reason or Levi for another, you can still have 12 left over by taking Joseph and sp splitting them into two. Once you realize the game they're playing, you'll realize why they always have 12, whether or not Levi's included. He doesn't go to the line of march and battle, so you still have 12 going to battle. And there's, they're listed 20 times in the Old Testament, always in a different order, but there, it's always a subset of the, of the 13. But anyway, moving on here. So we also learn from Numbers 2 that these 12 tribes camped in four camps. The first three, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun, camped under the ensign of Judah as the camp of Judah. So Reuben, Sibion, and Gad camped under the camp of Reuben, uh, Ephraim, Manasseh, and, Eph, uh, uh, and Benjamin under the ensign of Ephraim, and Dan, Asher, and Naphtali under Dan. And so they have four camps. Now, the Levites are camped in the middle. They set out an area where they set up the tabernacle in the middle of their area, and uh, the door was always to the east, and that's where Moses and the priests were camped. And then the, the Gershonites, Goethites, and Merarites camped around the tabernacle. But the whole area was the area assigned to the Levites. I don't know how big it was, but it's going to be the basic unit we're going to deal with here, the, the camps of the Levites. Why? Because we're going to discover that the rabbis worked very hard. They give them credit. They really worked hard to fulfill the law as precisely as they understood it, the rabbinical precision. The camp of Judah is instructed to camp east of the Levites. Fair enough. Camp of Reuben was the, the, the south of the Levites. No problem. But that means that no one can camp southeast, because that's neither south nor east. So that's a vacant area, apparently. Only cardinal directions were ordained in the law. And the width of the camp, it would be as wide as the Levites' camp and still conform, but not larger than that. So it would go as long as they needed to for the population. Okay, let's take a look at this here. So we have the, camp, we have the 22,000 or so of the, uh, of the Levites in the middle, and we have the camp of Judah to the east. Its ensign was, of course, the lion of the tribe of Judah, and so those three tribes assigned to Judah would be camped to the east. No problem there. Reuben was to be to the south. His ensign was a symbol of the man, and they camped to the south, and only to the south. And then we have no one in the southeast, you understand, nor, nor the southwest, northwest, northeast. Those are vacant. Okay. Ephraim is to the west, and his symbol, his ensign was the ox, and the three camps that make up the camp, the three groups, the three tribes that make up the camp, uh, camp to the, to the west. And then we have Dan, and his symbol was the eagle. Now you wonder, wait a minute, I remember Genesis 49, his ensign was a serpent, except Ahezer, the head of the tribe, was uncomfortable with that. So we discover that what he does, he adopts an eagle with a snake in its mouth as his ensign. And that's where Dan picks up the eagle as his, a more comfortable ensign than the serpent, for obvious reasons. And so, be that as it may, we now have the... Now what we need to do is figure out the, the uh, populations. Judah is the largest with 186,000. Ephraim to the, to the west is only 108, it's the smallest. The other two are about the same. Let's, I want to show you an aerial picture that's in your Bible that we've just constructed here for you. It's the same thing that Balak, or excuse me, Balaam, when he was on the hill cursing Israel, as he looked down what he saw. And that's what he saw. 
That's an aerial view of the camp of Israel. This is in the Old Testament. This is in Numbers 2. It's staggering, isn't it, when you really start putting it together.